You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. Hello, I'm Stacy Campbell with K-State Research and Extension of Ellis County. Well, the new farm bill is starting to roll out. They're about done with it. And farmers will have to, of course, get enrolled into that. There's still plenty of time. Uh, enrollment doesn't start until about mid-November, November 17th, till the end of March of 2015. Um, but Extension is already starting to do some programs out there to give the farmers some information on this new farm program. One of the things that uh, farmers can, can start looking into and thinking about now is to whether they want to update their program yields on their base acres. And they can also, if they want, if they choose to, they can reallocate their program base acres as well with this new farm program. And then ultimately the biggest decision they're going to have to make is whether they want to enroll their farm into the PLC or the price loss coverage or the ARC, the agricultural risk coverage. Once you've enrolled into those with this new farm program, you're locked in for five years. So like I say, there's still plenty of time for this. K-State Research and Extension and Oklahoma State University have developed a computer-based farm program decision aid tool. Uh, it's, it's basically in Excel. You can download it on your, onto your computer. And then you can start uh, playing around with this program and putting in what your, what your yields have been, what your base acres are, and it'll help you. And also you kind of got to put in there what you think prices are going to be. And then uh, it'll show you kind of the difference in possible payments based on yield, based on price of the two programs of the PLC and the ARC. So it is a decision-making tool that's out there that should be pretty user-friendly. Um, you can get that decision aid tool and load it onto your computer from the agmanager.info website, which is basically the ag economics website at Kansas State University on the extension side. Also, Oklahoma State has it on their website. And then the Farm Service Agency also has a decision aid tool as well uh, on the USDA website. My understanding is it looks pretty similar to the Extension website as far as maybe how you navigate through it. So with this new farm program, there's going to be some pretty tough decisions to be made or decisions that are going to lock you in for five years. Plenty of time. Uh, before you have to do that, Extension and FSA are planning to have some programs to try to inform and update farmers about, about uh, the new farm bill and about the price loss coverage and the agricultural risk coverage and what it might mean to your farm. As a matter of fact, here in Ellis County on February the 11th, which is a ways off, we will have a farm bill program. But there will probably be some other programs before then as well. Once again, there is a decision aid tool out there on the, on the agmanager.info website that you can start uh, plugging some of your farm's numbers into uh, to make, help you make this decision as to what program to enroll into for the new farm bill. Well, this has been Stacy Campbell with K-State Research and Extension of Ellis County and Eagle Community Television. You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. Fall is here and it's a great time to come out and visit Carrico Implement in Hayes for all of your fall lawn care needs. We stock and sell a full line of John Deere riding lawn equipment along with Honda Walk Kind mowers and generators. We also offer a full lineup of steel outdoor power products. If your project requires even more muscle, come check out the lineup of John Deere compacts, trackers, and skid loaders. And don't forget, we have the parts and services to keep you up and running for whatever your fall lawn care needs are. So come visit Carrico Implement for a solution that fits.